Hello TCG community, Nick here from Homebrewery Gaming, giving you guys the next update on the Dreamscape series. Just making sure that everything's still intact, I'm still working a little on Clash, just making sure that everything's organized, but aside from that, you should be expecting these update videos at least once a week. That's my main priority right now. I'm going to try to make sure that I get at least one done every week, maybe more frequent. I'm not trying to make it less frequent, I'm trying to make the latest one week. But anywho, I have a list here just to make sure that everything that I need to address is addressed in this video. Okay, so obviously a lot of you guys have started to comment back on the video, uh, the first video that I made for the Dreamscape series, and the main idea that I have in mind is that basically comments are a very good way just for the communication within the community to make sure that we all get our points across and we get all the feedback that we need. Also, feel free if you guys would like to go onto my channel and put it under the discussion, but if you put it on the update videos, that's perfectly fine as well. Just make sure it's on the more recent update video just so that we uh, we actually get a hold of it because um, obviously I'll be taking a look at the older videos, but the newer ones will be more of my priority. On that note, I actually got a message from the Monarch people and he actually has a pretty good idea for the basis of the story. And it was kind of an idea that um, Peter and I uh, have been working around as well, just because it works well in conjunction with the ideas we had, along with the ideas that the Monarch people had. So, um, basically verbatim from what the Monarch people said, he said the whole idea of Dreamscape should be where there's this magical aura wrapped around the Earth, and it's a field of energy that seems to react to human thought. Upon research, they find out that this energy is manipulated by dreams and manifests into and manifest these dreams into cards. Um, basically, this field is known as the dreamscape, and some ideas that I had in response to that is, I think it'd be pretty awesome if it was like the Aurora Borealis, if any of you guys know what that is, it's, um, feel free to look it up, but um, it's basically like up in the Arctic, when it's uh, dark out, you see like these color, beautiful colors in the sky, it's like amazing, and the idea that I have to work from that is, perhaps we could work with an idea where like, that Aurora, or the dreamscape as it originally is supposed to be called, actually starts like, going around the rest of the world. So based off of that idea, I want you guys to basically leave comments on what you think of that idea, but obviously we can change it around as much as we like because it is our project after all. It's the TCG community's project. Aside from that, I was actually working on something a little special I want to show you guys right now. It's basically the idea I have for in between battles. I already have an idea as to how I can like animate the battles. I'm not going to be like animating characters that take too much time to do, but um, what I can do instead is I could have the card show up and I could have like little effects, like when things get hit for damage or special effects happen. But aside from that, like I said, outside of combat, this is what the dialogue will probably look like. Ready for some tussling, tussleman? As ready as ready can be. Now bear in mind, it's only my voice at the moment, but I'm hoping down the line to get more voice actors involved, because I don't only want myself involved as the voice actor. But yeah, that's basically the idea I have for how the dialogue box will work. There'll also be a background, well, in the background, just so it doesn't look like it's on a black screen and it looks a little more animated in that sense. Aside from that, Drex, which is the one human character you just saw, I drew him, and obviously I drew a broomstick, and I only use them because I made it, so um, I have like the permission right away just to make the video. I was actually curious, like if any of you guys would like to drop character ideas, that that would be great, and that's one of my bigger uh, things I want to address in this video. I want to start thinking up character ideas, so I need you guys to start commenting ideas. I know uh, Kiwi mentioned something about where it's like. We want the characters to be relatable. We want to make sure that we can connect to them and everything like that. But at the same time, uh, some other people, like even include myself, I also want to see diversity down the line, but obviously we can work with that as it goes. What I'm mainly looking for right now is just some character ideas that we can work with. But the last thing I'd like to address is copyright free music. I'm hoping to use that in the videos, like for the series as well. I already have a few ideas as to where I can get my music, but if any of you guys know some places to get copyright free music that would work really well, for this project, then feel free to do that to me as well. In fact, just like if you find anything, like any elements that can help me with this series project, like if you wanna draw your own characters, if you wanna do stuff like that, just send it to me or um, discuss in the comments, like, hey, I have this like thing that I can show you, so here, and I'll most likely incorporate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stuff that you saw in this video, because it's starting to progress a little, but I feel like the main thing we need right now is more people involved or just more discussion about the project. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys soon.